Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening! Three winners of the Caribbean Flyweight title! The stage is set, the bright lights are on! time here at Cage Warriors Academy Ireland. It's the flyweight title. We have Own Shema taking on Matthew Freel. Freel is in the black and grey and Own is in the all black. Put your gloves, we're underway. Peter Lavery is your third man in the cage. Yeah, Own Shema, a big, uh, big karate fighter. Uh, likes to bounce in now on his toes. Uh. Looking for a big right hand and looks to close the distance, get the body lock and looking to pull away that leg. Looking for the takedown, big slam with the body lock on. That's a frill. A lot of people in the crowd roaring him on here as well. He's in on a neck here. Oh, man has got to watch the neck. Close guard, guillotine choke. Needs to watch this guillotine. Looking to make the adjustments and switches to trying to mount possibly. Let's go to choke now. Knee on belly ride. Fanatic start here straight away, yeah. Matthew Friel. Very quick start from both fighters. And just leaning the knee down again on the stomach of Chelman. Chelman rolls to get out of that and we're going to take the back. Matthew Friel, one hook in. John Moyle's done well to keep uh, Friel against the cage so he can't get that second hook in. Now he'll try and turn into him. I might try to hold on to that wrist and so Chimaya can't defend himself and land some shots but this is a say that Chimaya sits from the roll back and he's on his back here up against the cage frill so he doesn't have much room to pull Chimaya into it now he makes the slight adjustment Chimaya is looking to try and turn into Freel, he's got the body triangle on, looks to get it under the chin, it's not though. Yeah, Freel's doing well, he's uh, any time um, Onchil Moyes making him readjust, he's hitting him with a few shots and then going back to the rear neck choke. Now Steps into the mount, mount. Yeah, beautiful work by Freel. Anything that Shamal is trying to escape from, he takes the opportunity to advance position. Yeah, forcing Onchil Moyes' uh, head up against the cage, very uncomfortable position for our own. And this is the shots I was talking about a moment ago where he's trapping Jamea and landing the shots. Only well to shrink the hips and retain half guard. Friel again looking to explode and get into side control and he does. Beautiful work. And Wapo systematically so far advancing. On each occasion, steps into mount again. Beautiful jiu-jitsu. Big right hands landed. Yeah, big shots here from Freel. That's 15 seconds in a round. Chamel does well to get out of there. Excellent survival by Owen. Yeah, they were heavy shots. Owen did well. Owen's going to end the round on top, but... Don't be fooled by that if you just clicked on. That was a big, big round for Machu Friel. One thing I'll say about Anshu Malin's corner there, he doesn't seem affected by the first round. He understands there's still two rounds of this fight to go. He's not in panic. But a big open in the first round for Machu Friel. His corner, I'm sure, will be telling him, do exactly what you just done. Yeah. Well, what would Miles Price be telling his fighter? Uh, definitely to uh, keep distance and uh, maybe take it easy with the kicks for the moment, just because the try to take down is there. Maybe set up a... Uh, Help your boxing a bit more. Yeah, 
Looks for that low kick, but as you said, Phil uses that to catch the kick and pick the two legs, and he's getting Jamil working his way back up to the cage, looking to cage walk. Friel has got a grasp and he pulls that ankle from underneath him. Phil doing well here. Staying heavy, heavy on Chelmoya, not giving him an inch. Friel going body head. Sitting in the guard. Landing the shots and Jamil potentially could get down next up. He's going to be obstructed by looking for an armbar triangle with the cage and his head stuffed up against the cage. So this is a good position for Matthew Friel to have on Shemaya in. Yeah, it's very difficult for uh, Chalmaya to use his hips here. Again, good shots by Friel. Always working. Jean-Peter Lavery, he's been active. I'd like Chelmoya to uh, try and get his back off the cage or either start wall walking and push down the head. Chops the legs up looking for that triangle. Switches to an Alma Plata potentially. Look to go belly down, Friel rolls with it. Looks out of danger for the moment. Should, Hammer fists. Should swap back to the triangle. Has a butterfly here, could use the sweep. Sits up. As he sits up, he could go for the Kamar trap there just to uh, engage a scramble. Just make sure not to give his back up here now. And again, Friel, credit to him, he's not giving Chamaya an inch here. Chamaya has the underhook now, he should be able to circle off and get off the cage. He does, but as he does that, Friel in on a single, but on heavy on top is on Chamaya. Coming up to 30 seconds left of the second. The frail is not letting go. Jamal needs to break the grip here and then start working to get off the cage. Jamal's going to end up on top in this scramble here, landing some big right shots, trying to get some payback for the air shots. All on the air of Freel, but Freel just works through it and looks to get the hands clasped Freel. again. Freel nearly had the hands clasped there. Has them there, he's going for that big takedown. Big takedown to end the round, and Al Chamaya got a hold of that neck briefly, but again, the round finishes with Machu Friel on top. The third and final round here of the flyweight title bout. What a night of fights we've had here yeah. at Cage Warriors Academy Ireland. Uh, Owen looks the fresh of the two anyway. As much as all that grappling, a lot of people think defensive ref wrestling and grappling is exhausting, but James, it's just as equally exhausting when you're constantly trying to Absolutely. take your opponent down. Absolutely. Just grappling in a hole is just exhausting. And shots thrown by Freel looked very slow and laboured. This is where the striking of Owen Chamaya can come in to play. I'm wary of Chamaya throwing too many leg kicks. Freel will look to uh, grab them and shoot in for that double. Chamaya was looking to land strikes. He got close to Friel against the cage, and Friel has used that to get the takedown again. Chamaya finds himself on his back. Uh, Chamaya needs to be active straight away. He can't let this uh, round get away from him. Friel did the right thing, though. Uh, he found that uh, Chamaya was going hard with strikes at the start, so took the, took the fight to the mat where he has uh, had most of the success. Jamai threatened with the triangle in the second round. Easier to get in essence in, in, in this position where he's out and doesn't stuff by stuff by the cage, but he's trying to get back to his feet, but Friel gets the single and, and drags him back in again. Active hips here required from Aung Jamai if he's gonna pull this one off. It looks like he's trying to set up that triangle again. And Friel he can almost touch the belt, I'm sure, the way he's thinking. Yeah, Aung Chalmoy needs to uh, use his energy to, to either like, get up or uh, go for submission because these shots off the ground, uh, off his back, they're annoying for your opponent, but they're, they're not winning you the fight. He tries to separate, but excellent work by Friel to stop it again and get that body lock. And yeah, Aung Chalmoy needs to uh, make sure he doesn't give up his back here. Friel will come to the back. 
Just a minute to go in the third and final round. And this flyweight title bout, and Owen Chimay is trying his hardest to even turn into his opponent here. Real battle of position, and Freel momentarily has won that battle. Yeah, Freel has control of uh, Owen Chimay's arm behind his back. Uh, you see Khabib doing this against Michael Johnson. It's very difficult to get out of this position. Again, it renders you defenseless if Freel can get up to his knees and start landing shots, as you said, just like Khabib. It's where a lot of damage is done up against the cage and sets up chokes for Habib anyway but Jamela sits down or sorry Freel sits down but ends up with Jamea on top time is of the essence he's got 18 seconds here it's time is going to get away Machu Freel is happy to sit here I think he thinks the work is done he's looking for an arm though we're going to go to the judges' scorecards here and the home crowd here supporting Machu Freel Phil. Listen, I appreciate your appreciation from both fighters. The next three rounds will actually go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 30 27. Freel winner by unanimous decision.